Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Alessandro writing in. Heading of this email is Need Advice for Camera Upgrade. So he writes in, he says, Hi man, I wanted an advice from you if possible. Always watch your videos, but now I'm a bit confused as I want to upgrade my camera. It is an Icon D3300. This summer I will travel around the world with my nephews, so I'll do a lot of stills, portraits, street photography, and rarely landscape. Also, I'm going to do some videos, and of the things that we will do, what travel camera uh, would you suggest me to buy? I'm on a budget of around L700 to 850 I was thinking about a Fuji uh, X-T20. Sony RX10 Mark III, Nikon D7200, but don't know about the videos as some people say it is bad, or something else on your advice. Don't want to go on the Sony A6000 system as the lenses are expensive. So if you could tell me a great camera with which I could take a lot of great photos and do videos as well. I currently have a Samsung Galaxy S9, so I want a camera that performs better. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks for your question, Alessandro. Um, interesting selection you have there. The X-T20, which I have right here, and I love this little guy. And... My favorite kit lens of all time, the 18 to 55 28 to 4 Fuji. Build quality, astonishing. Um, optical quality, amazing. Just a, an incredible kit lens. Um, this is a great setup. That's probably what I would choose out of your choices there. Um, smaller and lighter than the D7200. D7200 is a good camera. The XC20 does 4K. The 7200 does not. Um, and uh, this, as I said, smaller and lighter. I really like the retro looks of this. And the lens... Uh, the lenses that are available are amazing. This, these two would be my top recommendations for you. The 1855-284, great all-rounder. Or the 18 to 135 if you want something a little longer reach as an all-rounder. And this has the Fuji uh, 50mm f2 that's on here. And just an astonishing little lens. Um, very, very good on this APS-C body. Because it gives us an equivalent, equivalent field of view with the crop sensor of about 75mm. Very close to an 85mm portrait lens traditionally. Uh, so I love... 50s on crop sensor bodies like the xt20 or the uh, d7200 as well uh, because they give us very close to that 85 millimeter field of view great portrait lenses and a great price and a great deal and great build and great optically this little 50 is amazing so that's the way i would go i agree with you on not getting the a6000 system because while i like their bodies i do agree about the lenses and the lack of decent performing lenses at better price points value budget lenses um, the Sony RX10 Mark III is a great camera. It's a very interesting camera, um, but it's an ultra zoom, and you don't get the versatility or the image quality that you'd be able to get out of the X-T20. Still very good performer, and it has its niche um, for things. Very, very good video camera. But for a travel camera, and I like the ability to switch lenses to go to a fast prime for some portraits and things, I think something like the X-T20 for me is a better, better way to go. But I do like the Sony RX10 Mark III. D7200, I love that camera. Um, it's just a lot bigger and a lot heavier than, than this. This is a great travel setup. So that's the way I would go there. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? XT20, the way to go. Do you like my lens selections? Would you do something different? Would you choose something else out of his selections? Would you choose something different altogether? Maybe a Canon SL2. That's a really good option too. Uh, or an M50 maybe. Let me know in the comments below. What would you do and why? Let's help out Alessandro. Always great to get you guys feedback. Uh, kind of helps round out the advice when our viewers are trying to make a decision on what to buy. Thanks for your question, Alessandro. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.